Hello Virgo and welcome back. Tonight we'll be looking at the energies that will be born for you and we're talking about the week starting from the 12th till the 18th of April 2021. So Virgo, let's start your reading. I will be looking at an energy or an event uh, that has happened in your life during the past and somehow is connected with the energies um, that will be born for you this week and with your future. So, um, there we go. I will not stay uh, too long in the past energy, but I'll get deeper into your present energy and your future energy. So, we go, we are ready. Very good. To start your reading, triumph. Some kind of inner conflict that you are having and love. Love. Why? Why are you fighting your own self about the victory that you are going to have? You want to have? You can have. Okay. Mm, you have left, uh, absolutely you have left a relationship. Um, or you didn't accept. Mm, of course, it was uh, divinely guided to leave a relationship, some kind of, um, probably sexual relationship. Because you were not satisfied, it was nothing. Didn't give you, uh, didn't uh, give you the the things that you deserved. The, all these things that you want, the emotions, the feelings. It was just sex. It was not enough. Why? Because you had to be the empress. You wanted to be the empress. You wanted to have everything, including love, feelings, sex, passion, money, and on that relationship you are stuck only uh, on sex and if it was not a relationship it was just it was a relationship actually but if there was any kind of offer um, about sex it was not good enough for you no so that's why uh, you just went away going to your full potential Oops, okay. I will accept. How about the energies? Oh, wonderful. Just wonderful. <sighs> Just really wonderful. The sun, happiness, energy that will be born this week for you. Uh, overall energy is the sun things that are going to happen are very happy, be very happy. And you'll have news, some restrictions or some bad uh, luck for you and we will see what is happening. And uh, love, pure love, pure love for you. So, let's see your future too. Mm -hmm. Yes, you will have stability, absolutely, Virgo. But also, we're talking about a partnership, friends. Um, we will see. What do we have to say? What I have to say already is that Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment is coming to you. And the star, all the things that you're hoping for are coming to you. Beautiful, isn't it? Yes, it is. So, let's clarify. Uh, I want to see this page of swords and the restrictions, the love, that partnership or work, your wish fulfillment and your hopes coming through Virgo. So let's start. Let's see the page of swords. Oh, 
Oh, what's this? What the, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Come on, tell me. What the fuck is this? Look. You'll have news. News or someone will appear. Lovers. Okay, lovers. Here we have lovers too. And wait, lovers. High Priestess. Hierophant. High Priestess with Hierophant, we're talking about the most spiritual um, couple that you could ever be with someone. The most spiritual. It's not only spiritual. Two of Cups. Soulmate. The High Priestess with the Hierophant. Two of Cups. Lovers and Ace of Cups <laughs> and Judgment. Oh, damn, that's fucking unbelievable. This energy is freaking amazing, you know. This is just freaking amazing, so spiritual, so loving. This is this is soulmate. This is real, real, real soulmate. This is, a, you cannot miss this energy. You just cannot do it. You, you, you just cannot miss this energy. So, so simple. Wow, what an energy. I want to be work. <laughs> yes, I do. I really do. Uh, remember here, we have the uh, three of pentacles that is at your future. Maybe a person from work, maybe you're working, maybe a friend of yours. Maybe a friend of yours wants to <laughs> wow wants to come as the Knight of Cups. Seeing you as the Queen of Cups. Love, love, offering you love because you're so lovely and uh, so love. And also page of wands. Page of wands you had in the past. Page of Wands. So, an offer about sex, offer about love because you really shining. You are so lovely. You are, you are opening your heart and you are just uh, like, like a magnet, you know. There are some restrictions. Yes, of course, for that person. It's not for you. It's for that person. That person has some kind of restrictions. And maybe because it's your, at your friend's uh, circle, that's why. We will see here though, because the same card, we will see, we will see. Maybe restricted, maybe is afraid of something. Let's see the lovers. For you, Virgo. Mm -hmm. oh, what the f is going on here? What is going on? Ah, yes, 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 yes. You'll overcome it. You don't have to worry at all about this. But I have to say that, that. This we this is one level on its own, okay? It's like uh, non-existing. I should put it here so to look at it all the time. This energy, it is it's just wow. It, it is just out of out of this earth, you know. This this energy, it's so just okay. Whatever. Um, the lovers. So we have a person that wants to come, but is restricted. Again, is restricted. Again, is restriction. Okay. The Eight of Swords, restriction, and about that connection, also restriction. Why? Hmm, something interesting. This is something interesting because that person probably maybe will approach to you, that person that we're saying that maybe it's from your friend's uh, circle, that is somehow that person is uh, taken, you know, taken, whatever. Mm. So he would like to escape from what that person has in its life right now. Energy that is born this week, okay? I wants to um, and run to you. Why? Because I told you, uh, they the people will start becoming addicted to you. Hey, so once, love and sex, 
and wants to come, but that person is restricted for sure. And something tells me that it is from your um, person that maybe you know already, okay? Still, you don't have to worry if you have to worry about anything, you don't have to worry about anything, but that person will overcome. That restriction is here, that person will overcome that restriction, okay? Let's see more about this three of pentacles. Mm. Oh, that poor boy or poor girl. Oh, <laughs> yes, maybe, maybe it's from the past, you know that person. So, that poor person, you know what? He's thinking and thinking and thinking how to approach you. He knows, she knows that there is competition around you. There is competition around you. You can have so many fans. You know it, okay, you don't know it, I'm saying to you, you have. It is up to you to just open your eyes and look around and see what's going on because the Empress that you had been, this, I don't even want to, to even say about this again. And um, Queen of Cups, you are shining huh? and you're attracting people. So that person that is from your friend's uh, circle, that probably you know, could be your ex. Yes, could be your ex too if you want. It could be for some of you. Who wants really to escape from what uh, has right now and comes to you because uh, that person feels that you are his real or her real love. Oh, but still is thinking, taking no action yet because there's competition. Too many people want you still will make the uh, will take the action okay with the wheel of fortune it will come to you that person and let's see that wish fulfillment for you what could be more a wish than this energy what ah yes 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 of course of course, yes. One more uh, wish coming true for you is a new beginning with a fool. You want a new beginning. Why? Because <coughs> you're very strong. You are becoming very strong here as a future energy to overcome any kind of leftover problems that you have been carrying along the past, from the past. Hmm? You're finding a way. You're wise. You're finding a way how to uh, drop all these burdens uh, of your shoulders and strength, you are very strong. And it's one of your wishes coming true to finally be uh, relieved from at least one problem that was, uh, you know, dragging you a little bit down. The star with the world of fuck. coming true. A new brand life starts for you. Very successful life. So much determination, so much fire and so much sex for you. And Virgo, from the past all the work that you have done uh, with yourself, with the persons around you and uh, all the situations around you. You are using your logic now, not only your mind, not only your uh, instincts. Here is instinct, okay? Here, about sex. Uh, love, you have your heart, your feelings, your emotions, but also here you appear like uh, you are using also your logic. You're taking no bullshit anymore. Virgo and what it leads to a complete transformation for you. I am telling you again and again, things can go great for you, Virgo. And uh, you're having everything, everything that you could want, especially in a romantic uh, relationship, about your love life. 
what can I say about this? Money, you know, is not that much around here. No, even not at all. Yes, can have stability. Oh, can have stability. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. But as I am telling you, this energy is uh, is just oh, it is just unbelievable. This energy is unbelievable, unbelievable. And um, as I said to you, now you are start using your logic. You take no bullshit. No one can use Virgo again just for for sex. Sex is and only is not enough for you. You want the whole package. And you are going to have you are transformed after having all this and you are making your hopes come true huge success opening a new life for you and really passionate also with sex but also with love hmm? of course with love you are leaving behind any kind of pro one at least one problem that will really relieve you and it is one of your wishes coming true you are changing your own luck this is what you are doing you are changing your own luck People are coming to you, people want to fight for your heart, people want to fight for your bed, and you are a transformed Virgo that can do anything that you really want. So let's have one more card for you. <laughs> what did I say? Hmm? What did I say? You want only the best. You are not satisfied with anything than the best, but the best. The Empress, that you wanted to be during the past, you have left something to become the Empress. Here you are, the Empress. The Empress with the Empress. Uh, it's a little bit sexy card, that's why I don't want to do so too much on uh, the screen. The Empress with the Empress. This is you. This is you, Virgo. Fantastic. Uh, again, once again, I'm so happy to have such kind of beautiful messages for you. And I cannot, I cannot overcome this energy. I cannot overcome this energy. This is what we're talking about. Uh, that person, when it comes to you, that energy, that, that love, that spiritual, highest spiritual energy, you will remember me. You cannot, you cannot avoid. Meanwhile, you can do anything you want. People coming, people going, the people offering you things about love, about sex, about anything. When this comes in your life, you cannot escape it. So thank you, so, you cannot miss it. Thank you so much, uh, Virgo. And until next time that we will talk about the mid of uh, the energies, we will see the energies about mid of, uh, around mid of uh, April. I wish you all the best and um, bye for now. <laughs>